California's legislature has passed a ban on single-use plastic bags. It could soon be the first of its kind implemented on a state level. State lawmakers passed the bill along with a host of other measures during a late night session Friday after initially failing to clear the legislature in an earlier vote. It now heads to Governor Jerry Brown's desk for approval. If signed, the proposal would ban grocery and convenience stores from providing plastic bags for their customers. Shoppers would have to either bring their own bags or pay 10 cents at checkout for a paper or reusable plastic bag. Similar plastic bag bans have cropped up in cities and counties across the U.S including about 124 places in California. But this is the first statewide ban to make it this far. And the issue has attracted a lot of heated debate. Proponents of the ban say plastic bags often go unrecycled, polluting the environment with hard to eliminate waste. A lot of that waste makes its way to the ocean, where activists say it poses a hazard to marine life. But some conservatives disagree. Cyclable plastic bags are not the enemy. Why does the government have to get up in our business? Have you ever tried picking up dog crap with a paper bag? It's ridiculous. California Republicans argue the bill will take away jobs from bag manufacturers, and the 10-cent bag surcharge might hurt lower-income families. One assemblyman told the Sacramento Bee, it makes absolutely no sense as a tax policy. It makes no sense as a jobs policy. The bill managed to overcome some of those objections with additional protections for manufacturers, including a $2 million fund for bag makers to retool their assembly lines and produce more sustainable bags. But a Bloomberg writer worries this measure will be more of a symbolic gesture than a meaningful change. These are feel-good measures, an easy way for civic leaders to demonstrate their concern for the environment without requiring too much of their constituents or local businesses. They risk fueling a self-congratulatory complacency that distracts from more serious challenges. The plastic bag ban was just one of the measures sent to Governor Brown's desk this weekend. Other bills included regulations for groundwater pumping and requirements for most employers to provide at least three paid sick days each year. For Newsy, I'm Madison Burke.